Since our last update in November, we've been making really good progress despite the challenging weather. So as always, we'll start our update at the south of the scheme and work our way north towards Beverley. So starting with between Skidby and Bentley, we've been finishing off some of the drainage operations. We've been installing ducting in preparation for the streetlight installation. Been finishing off some of the fencing operations and putting in some topsoil. And we've also surfaced the NMU track, which is at the rear of Lazat's. So continuing north between Bentley Village and the A1079, we've been concentrating on the new Northern Slip Road, which goes underneath the ben new Bentley Bridge. We've been installing new concrete kerbs and continuing the new concrete drainage channel and installing new streetlight ducting. Um, moving on to the southern approach to the new Bentley Bridge, motorists will have seen that we've now installed the base and the binder courses and also installed the new street lighting. So continuing over the new Bentley Bridge to the northern side, we have been trimming up the foundation stone in preparation for us to continue installing the concrete drainage channel, as well as making alterations to the existing drainage system and installing new street light ducting. So moving on to the A1079, motorists will be aware that we've made alterations to the traffic management. This was in preparation so that we could start the installation work of the new foundation for the vehicle restraint system. I'm moving north of the A1079 onto the existing A164 Victoria Road, we've been installing the new bituminous surfaces. And in addition to this, we've been undertaking site-wide landscaping operations, including planting new hedgerows. As we come to the end of another successful year, which has seen motorists now travelling on the newly constructed carriageway and roundabout, we look forward to coming back in the new year to finishing the scheme in late summer 26. And as always, if people are interested in the project and want to keep updated, they can visit the scheme's website on a164jockslodge.co.uk and they can sign up for the scheme's newsletter.